There are two types of people in the world. Those who love Country Clipper. And those who will. Country Clipper. Engineered for easy. Find your local dealer at countryclipper.com. Mike Smith and Tom Beard back with you. A 50 to 47 final score win tonight for uh, Taze Valley over Liberty Union. And right now we're joined uh, by uh, Liberty Union head coach Aaron Riddle. Aaron, uh, I know you guys are looking for that first win. Didn't come tonight, but I thought you guys had a tremendous effort out there playing right down to the wire. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's tough because uh, you see how hard the kids are working and. Um, you know, we just want to get over that hump. I mean, there's our first five games are uh, really, really tough, and uh, we need to be able to weather the storm. Um, we haven't played yet together as a full squad. Uh, we played without one of our starters or one of our best players, Tom Winter, the yeah. foreign exchange student tonight. So, but what I like about that is that when Tom comes back, it's just going to add an extra level of. Uh, diversity to our team and uh, tonight these kids showed us that um you know it doesn't matter who we can put out there we're going to fight to the end and that's that's what i'm really proud of on the offensive side i thought you guys did a good job showing some balance you had some outside shooting shawver did a great job out there but also did a great job getting to the basket mm -hmm. penetrating to the hole no uh blake I'll, I'll tell you what um Blake is a kid that uh, has faced some adversity b due to lack of playing time. Um, and I'll tell you what, I would love, he's going to be a kid that I talk about that uh, just didn't give up. Um, he can really shoot it. Mm -hmm. um, struggled playing defense at times over the summer and even in uh, the preseason. But I'll tell you what, he just continues to earn more minutes because of what he's doing out there. And I'm really proud of him because he's a great kid, smart kid. And uh, he's only going to put himself in a position to help us later on the season as well. Yeah, unofficially, we had him for 15, but 13 of those were in the second half. Oh, man, that's amazing. That's awesome. I'm really, I'm, I'm really happy for him. That's awesome. What's up next for the Lions? We have Hamilton on Tuesday, and then we, we go to Hamilton, and then we play uh, Bloom Carroll next Friday. And we're hoping to get Tom back. He twisted his ankle mm. yesterday dunking in practice. Um, so it would have been really nice to have him back because he was sick versus Fairfield and didn't play against Northridge. And we're just, he's a very good player. People will see him eventually. Um, we're just hoping to get him back soon. Well, Aaron, as we told the listeners uh, before you came up here, 0-3 right now, but the wins are going to come. I mean, if you guys incrementally improve game and game on, you're going to have uh, several, if not more, wins before this season's over. I hope so. Um, they're they're working hard, and we're working hard as a staff, and it's just uh, it'd be nice to get that first one. But uh, I'm really proud of our kids. Aaron, thanks for coming up. Congratulations on a great effort. Again, uh, Aaron Riddle of the uh, Liberty Union Lions uh, falling just a little bit short tonight, but a great effort against this uh, Taze Valley club.